it was devastating. I mean, on a human level, uh, Mitch wa was a uh, person who we were very close to and close with. And I mean, we, John Scully, a friend of his for years, um, his wife, uh, Mike Mesa, the whole trial team, the whole FBI team. And when he became sick, um, I still remember vividly uh, hearing him telling me uh, when he was sick, which is a long time, not a long time, but a significant time prior to it being a public matter. Um, you know, and it was a shock, and we all thought, you know, he would get over it, and we all were hopeful and optimistic, and we'd see him, and I saw him not too long before his death. Um, in fact, the day he was taken to the emergency room, we were actually planning to go see him, and so on a human level, it was, um, I, I had not felt anything like that in a long time. Um, on a professional level, uh, Mitch was the heart and soul of our of our team of our office, not just our team, the Family Secrets team, but the entire organized crime squad. And, uh, and losing him made, made a huge difference as well. In a way, it motivated us. I mean, those of us who were left redoubled our efforts, tried to get as many indictments of people who were worthy targets as possible, worked late into the night. I think if you looked at our productivity in terms of hours, it spiked, in a sense, after Mitch's passing because we wanted to really live up to his legacy. Um, but, uh, but it, uh, it had a huge impact on the office. And you know, you asked earlier, why is it that the outfit has lost some of its strength? And I don't think it's unfair to say that Mitch had a lot to do with it and, and the people he worked with and the people he inspired. And that's the thing. When you sat down with Mitch, he had a way of speaking to these mobsters, right, to these cooperators that put them absolutely at ease. It was extraordinary. He had a, a gentle way with them and he knew when to be firm, but he also knew when to sort of not push their buttons. And he was, a, he was just a master uh, at being a good person, not uh, in trying to show and pretend to be a good person, but his genuineness came through, I think, to all of the, even the bad guys, so to speak. And so uh, he was respected, I think, by even the defendants in the Family Secrets case. Uh, and the, the, certainly the defense attorneys, and, and you know, he was just a unique guy. And uh, yeah, it was, it, for me, the highlight of my career to work with Mitch, to work with uh, John.